Tyrus on my shoulder to come up behind and lift my arm up yeah. on the front of my coat. And Jesus Christ, I said that hurt, and I just come around and like I <laughs> about an inch from into God and down to <laughs> Crikey, it's bright. Friday, June the something. I'm in Elmworth, Alberta today, driving a couple hours up to Fairview for a cattle handling talk. So just spent the night at my mom's house. Papa Rick just took off in the school bus to go pick up the kids for his school route. And I should be back around, I don't know, like seven, 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Back to my homelands. Uh, so Beaver Lodge is where I grew up. That's where I am right now. And Fairview is where I spent age three to 13. I get to see both my homes today. I like that. Country roads take me home to play. So I'm almost at my presentation. I just pulled off the highway to take a look at my old house. So the house that I spent a decade in, I'm just at the end of the driveway. I wish so bad that I could go in. I'm sure if I walked up, they would say that I could go in, but it's a little weird and I have to be at this presentation in 50 minutes. Um, but yeah, definitely nostalgic for sure. I'm basically, sitting right where I waited for the school bus for my first day of school. So that's my driveway. I had a fort in that little clearing there. And all this stuff was our cattle handling facilities. But uh, it looks like it has succumbed to farmland. Pretty neat. House looks good. Okay, time for my presentation. I am here at Waterhole Rodeo Ground. It's been a lot of time riding horses and mutton busting and team penning and steer riding and all kinds of fun things at this rodeo grounds. First off, I'd like to thank Growing Forward 2 for the support of this uh, of this day, we did get a uh, welfare delivery agent money. Uh, I was very lucky to get Dr. Cody Krillman and Jack Nestor up here today. So, uh, without any further ado, I would like to uh, introduce Cody. Running about 120 cow calf pairs and about three to 400 yearlings, depending on the year. And I'm going to turn it over to Alan. Uh, I just took an old deep tillage cultivator that was wrecked and made the, that's the frame underneath it. And it doesn't move anywhere. It is unbelievably heavy. But when there was a lot of measuring and a little bit of cutting <laughs> after I got it half done. I feel like I'm in an episode of Prairie Farm Report right yeah. now. <laughs> Thanks, Cody. <laughs> Stay clean. I will wash all grease in it. <laughs> As soon as you're done working animals, you clean it all out. Yeah, it's not clean. And the neighbor has uh, rent and grass from them, so uh, no stranger to the cow business. But uh, anyway, I will turn it over to Peggy to talk about her handling system. The thing that I added when you we go over there, but is the block door, because uh, one of the veterinarians at the vet clinic in town said, Peggy, I think you should put in one of those black doors for when I come and I'm doing the preg check. And Cody might uh, agree with you. <laughs> Pretty nice. Originally, where we just had five foot high panels coming into the tub, and we changed all that eventually and put in six foot high heavy duty panels. You're, you want to play with it? Do you have questions? <laughs> but, 
run those horses through. <laughs> I don't know, there's a little bull out there. <laughs> yeah. And a big thanks again to Jack and Cody for uh, helping us out here today. So it was greatly appreciated. So. Um, this was the last spot. Where's the beer cooler, Peggy? <laughs> <laughs> um, was that a pig? Steve was there, so we're SOL. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you must be everybody's favorite veterinarian. At least you're She is. Yeah. I need a drone so I can take aerial shots of all of these, Kitty. Okay. I'll buy you a drone. <laughs> See, you, okay. See, See you guys. Farm tours are all done back at the hall. I think I forgot my memory stick somewhere. Uh-huh. How do you like them apples? Great day, great tour. I'm so happy to that I had come for this. I do have a quick business meeting. Well, I don't think it's too quick. I do have a quick business meeting and we'll be back to Beaver Lodge for the day. Mm, donuts. Oh yeah. Okay, I am all wrapped up in Fairview. I thought it's my high school. I thought that I would uh give you guys a little bit of a tour. I didn't think I was so close to my high school already. That smoker's corner, that's where all the bad kids hang out. Bowling alley, and the swimming pool. And that's the hospital. And that's the Fairview College. Uh, they got a really good tech program there. Oh, it's beautiful. That's a really nice college. Well, I'm gonna get an ice cream and leave Fairview. I will be back sooner than the next 10 years. Definitely appreciated uh, how great everybody was. And I really, really, truly miss this place and never thought that I would say that, but okay, that's the day. He was one of the quickest, fastest, funkiest little farts that yeah. ever grew up out there. You took a swing at a guy? He's 85 yeah, years old. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I, I had to step between. From my shoulder, I came up behind and lift my arm up yeah. on the front of my coat. And Jesus Christ, I said that hurt and I just come around. And it hurt. About an inch from into God down to the floor. Yeah. Before when I hit you, you knew it. <laughs>